and extra stuff. Because they're easy. No, no, it's not because of the difficulty you pick. This game itself has more stuff than a PS1 version. Difficult. I don't think the difficulty affects where stuff is. Yes, it does. Mm -mm. I've noticed. Mm -mm. Uh huh. How can you say we haven't finished this game on normal? Before? You know what? Hmm. Because I tried to do normal, and there was a lot of stuff wasn't in there. Just that? Yeah. Being a freak can't kill you, but this game can. That's what you're oh, wait, did that happen in the first game? Well, when you when come back mm -hmm. to save him? I don't know. I don't know why. You haven't played this one? No. Because I was a hype. And I didn't save him. I just finished the game. No, let me refer to that. I did save the game. But I didn't stop playing. Oh, I feel like a real police officer. Cause I don't know how to get here. Are you about to say about a real police officer? Hmm. Do you feel like a real police officer or do you feel like a real police officer? Or what? I feel like a real police officer and I was about to shoot that. <laughs> well, something you need is actually in that door anyway. Wait, am I supposed to shoot it? I don't think so. I know you need that front piece on that arrow though. Right. No, I already took it. Uh, you already have it in your inventory? Yeah, I took the remember from the statue. And you examine it? Like, yeah, you're supposed to examine it. But I just don't know if I need to take this, so... I'm gonna take it. Now, examine it and open it. with you, I don't know why they make you do it, because all that really happens is you just bring out the crimson head, and then every other zombie in the mansion becomes crimson heads. What? Yeah. Uh... I think the one crimson head that's down there, like, um... Is in that coffin. I mean, yeah, he in the coffin. I think, I think he has, like, a key or something. That's why you have to bring him down. But, uh... I just yeah. have to bring all those zombies. Yeah, after you defeat him, uh, whenever you start fighting zombies, you have to burn them alive. Because if you don't blow their head off or burn them, mm, can I swipe? swipe? No, that's the emblem. That's the emblem. Check the key. Check the key so it tells you what symbol you got on it. It says matching key. No, examine it. Turn it around. Sword key. Uh, mm hmm. That's why you examine the keys. Uh, Every single one of them will say mansion key. Oh. Mm hmm. You gotta get a helmet key, a sword key, and a, a shield key. See? I, I just remember because I kept looking at this door. Oh, I should have saved. Why should they ever really know what you are?
don't remember this hallway. I just don't remember much of this hallway. Cool. So, can I look at you? Dog, right? No. They're not at the window part. Oh. I don't know, I just I think when you yeah, you need to um go to your inventory. I'll see what all you got. We gotta get rid of some stuff. I ain't getting rid of that. The knife? Why can't I get rid of it? Because uh, you got to use that key for a couple doors. Oh. You need to go to the storage box. What I haven't seen. Because uh, I think there's something you need inside that book, actually. And I know you're not going to waste no ammo. Because you could waste four shots and reload. No, don't do that, actually. No, that's not right. <laughs> yeah, you need to find an inventory box. Valentine. Oh yeah, this pointless scene. I think when you step around a corner. Just, just, just go through the door right there. Open the door. Right. And then go down the stairs and go to the inventory room. That should at least still be the same. There should be zombies here too, though. Yep. Just go down the stairs. And go through that door. Over there. Ah! <laughs> He's at the bottom of the stairs, man. I have to. Oh my god. Alright, alright. You, you failed, man. Just... Are you gonna kill everybody dead? That's your rule? Yup. Cool. Thanks, Jim. Alright. I got scared, okay? They're, they're done. You gonna really knife them? Yup, just to make sure. You should have left them on the floor. <laughs> Missed me, <dude. laughs> No, you dirty. You're like unnecessarily dirty. What about you? He's gone, man. Cool. He was gone after the first two shots. Cool. You can't even take that herb, so just go in that room. <laughs> you need to put some stuff in the storage, man. <sighs> and there should... Put them ink ribbons up, man. Mm -mm. I'm just gonna keep one of them. No, man, put those up. Put them up. Go to the box and put them up. You find, you find more... You find more every time you find a new typewriter. Hey, flask. Oh, in the canteen, your important secondary weapon will be on the floor over there. You need to combine those handgun ammo. Mm -mm. I'm not his door. Get rid of something. Put one of the items in the box and take the handgun ammo out. Put those ink ribbons in there. Take that out. No. Now. I could put those shotgun shells Yeah, because you want a shotgun, yeah. But I'm so smart, but... You also need to come back with if you got too. Two shotgun shells. Grab both of those ink ribbons you got. There you go. Combine them. Oh my god. Put them in your storage because you don't need them. Are you going to save right now? No. Then you don't need them. I'm just taking them for the space. Now, 
I am, I, I, I explained the important. Now, I'm going to put it this way. If you don't mind dealing with Crimson Heads, you don't have to take that. But be advised that if you run from a Crimson Head, they run just as fast as you do. Okay, wait, 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 wait. They're zombies. I come back after you kill them, which is why I try to tell you not to kill those dudes on the stairs. But they were attacking me, though. You could have just ran past them without having to fight them. Because once you kill a zombie, after you beat dude, they all come back as Crimson Heads. You can avoid that happening by nice. not killing them or burning them, burning their bodies alive. How many zombies are there? I mean, Three. Can, okay. Okay. Three. You can't burn them now, their bodies are gone. I mean, but for the future, you can burn some in the future. Take it. Just take it. You know how to refill it, right? Gas container by the door. Hey. It's by the door. Yeah, the container on the floor. Yeah, the right here. Mm -hmm. This is this is the save room. Don't you recognize the music? Nope. This is safety room music. Go to the typewriter first and see if there's ink ribbons over there. Oh, Alright, now, now take out your ink ribbons. <laughs> but as soon as you say, put them right back. I wouldn't mind that, because I'm a big kid now. I'm like a kid pro. They actually have a difficulty for one of the residents called Kid Mode, mm -hmm. which is basically makes it where you have unlimited ink ribbons. And they don't take and they don't take up they don't take up inventory space. That sounds perfect for me. That's what you can see. That's what that is. And handguns kill enemies in like two shots. Anyway. I'm more weak as hell. It's perfect for me. Oh, you a big dog. You don't need you don't need that herb, huh? Okay. I mean, I'm a big dog. You wanna go burn those bodies on the stairs? Oh, yeah. I would do that if I were you. Okay. Now you have to you don't have the lighter. You left the light in that other room. Oh, let me do that now. Yep. Oh, that's oh, Yeah, and you gotta take the long way around too. Cause that door is the door knob is broken on that side, so Oh god, it's scaring me. You have to go all the way around. Okay. There will be zombies in here. No, I just came from this way. You can grab that book now. No, I can't. Yes, you can. I have to go around again. Just grab it. Yes. Now examine it. It was literally just there. Pick it up. 
Yeah, pick up two things in that room. Right, when their bodies stay down like that, this is a sign that they will become comes ahead if you don't know, burn them up. Did you notice that most zombies when they die, they end up by the stay out? I know whose body's like that. There was another one whose body was like that? A Honda Guinea monster. I was gonna say, you should put up that jewel. You're gonna need that, you're gonna need that emblem way before you need that jewel. The jewel is for the tiger room. Well, it's just, um... The tiger room is where you're gonna get, where you get the, uh, wing crest from. You're gonna get to the tiger room for a while, though. Because in order to get... Well, actually, you can go downstairs and go to the tiger room. Round and round, round we go. Well, I need to pick up two things. Shotgun room is downstairs, too. Hey. More bullets. Yeah, you don't need to take that. Unfortunately, there's gonna be there's gonna be a part where you go outside, where you have to call the dogs and fight them. Yeah, you have to use the dog whistle to literally call dogs and fight them. And two dogs gonna come at once. The whole point of that thing though is that one of the dogs has a key around his neck or something like that. Fill a canteen. Uh, I go to the other monster because he's gonna turn into a prison. No, you need to use the canteen, not the lighter. Hey, you got any So I'm gonna fry the other guy too. Mm -hmm. Pulling out the hooks is gonna stay there and make sure they die. I mean, if you're the sound of fighting, you, you set them on fire, they're done. <laughs> you may have to use just totally about to just walk past the herb anyway. That's the thunder outside. <laughs> wow, Dustin, you're really jumpy. And that was really kind of cool when I killed a guy with the knife. Come on, catch come on, champ. You got like 70 rounds. You in there. Uh-uh. 
Uh-uh. What? Is it a doorknob? Looks like it's gonna ready to fall apart. You have to go do it at some point. Yeah. Uh, go for it. See? You're fine. Can't wait to see how you start acting when hunters show up. Act like a fool. Ah! <laughs> He's not dead, Dusty. <laughs> oh my god. He's dead now. I, mean, yeah. I wasn't ready. Like I said, a fool, okay? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright. I wasn't ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no way I would have been able to tell you weren't ready right there. You know, I was so pr You don't. What? I forgot to get the guys. No, you're going the right way. And I killed you, so. Yeah. seen you so scared in my life. What? I'm good at watching stuff, not playing them. Oh my god. Just relax, champ. Ain't nothing gonna happen yet. What do well, you mean yet? Keep going. Oh my god. You have 70 rounds. And you have... You already scared you? Come on, man. <laughs> Keep moving. <laughs> Keep moving. <coughs> Keep moving. Come on, Destiny. Don't be a wuss. You turn this on. You have to... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I told you, yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't you hear the bushes? <laughs> Didn't you hear yeah, the bushes? Yeah, but I heard... The... Why do you think I paused it? Thumbs up in the the bushes like when, when you first stepped out that he dived out immediately. Oh, I didn't know he dived out. Alright, so oh, what yeah. you gonna do, Chad? Like, he ain't gonna get you. Are you kidding me? Oh, you brave. What do you mean I'm brave? I can't, you know, you know, I can't shoot him. Yes, you can. Aim down. Alright. Oh, uh, yeah. Just aim down. You I mean, wait till he gets close to you and aim down. Good sign, Destiny. Well, I know it's like you know. I have the kerosene. The dog. He ain't coming back. He's gone. They don't come back. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> you just let the kerosene him. Yeah. I was just saying that if, if that one dog can give you trouble like that, you gonna be in some real trouble soon. Well, I just started this. I'm, well, I just said that because three dogs gonna attack you at once. Uh... And you blow that whistle. You said two. Yeah, I know, but I mean, three of them, three of them are gonna come out though. Two gonna come out, and then one's gonna come out if you take too long. Another one's gonna come out if you take too long. You don't even have the whistle right now. You ain't gonna worry about that. I should have used a knife. You're still gonna get older. Yeah. The issue you got here is you gotta learn how to properly break out, break out, break free of stuff. What are you using to try to break free? All these buttons? What, is there a button? You should probably look at the manual. I have a manual in your inventory. You go to your files. Go up to your files. Oh, I don't even give you 
steel book for that. Ooh. Wow. I don't know if they changed it for this one. I know in the first one there was you had to just hit the face buttons. Look it up. Yeah, cause you, that dog that dog took you from finding the cush for one bite, man. This lets me know right now that you couldn't play Resident Evil 3. Of Nemesis, course I couldn't play Resident Nemesis Evil 3. Nemesis would kill you if he got a hold of you. You wouldn't be able to break free of the worm fast enough and he'd poke your face. Be a blood. Oh boy, that's the Yes, now. You get a cat name, alright? Your name is gonna be, uh, Scary Cat. Look, I don't care if I put Scared Cat, okay? That needs to be on your YouTube account, Scared right. Cat. I'll put it on there. I mean, like, you remind me of myself when I was, like, nine, playing this stuff. Talking about how scared you just got. <gasps> I'm still supporting you 100%. I just... I just think, uh, you gotta, you gotta get yourself together, bruh. I forgot how you leave. There's a way to leave. Alright, so... What you want to do is to shake your directional buttons to left and right and mash the action button so you break through the enemies. Fast or take. I said left and right buttons? Uh huh. So I gotta continue to use left and From the uh, controller? Mm hmm. How are you looking like that? Hmm? Don't know how to scratch the air conditioner? Mm -hmm. That was an accident, man. I actually didn't like that noise. It irritated me briefly and made me want to choke. Mm. I'm going to say that next line because I know you're going to judge me. I'm not going to say it. Oh. oh my god. Okay, so it might be left and right and mashing the A button. In fact, this makes the other dick so easy for me to it. Um, huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I didn't say I got it all the way. I just said I semi got this. I just said we'll see about that. You are that. First of all, you are nowhere near ready for this place. You said I was going the right way.
This is a pretty painting right here. The shotgun room is right here. That's some camera angle, huh? That's look like something's about to happen. How about this drink of ginger ale? <laughs> Uh, I want to remind you one last thing before you continue what you're doing. Remember that when your health hits danger, if you take that green herb, it's not going to send you to fine. It's going to send you to orange caution. I feel so much better with my life. Or now that it's green? Yeah. Yeah. I don't like running around on yellow either. Even though, to be honest... I've come to learn, depending on what Resident Evil game you play, it's just best to stay in yellow for a brief minute. Really punk you when you're gonna go through that door? Mm-hmm. Why? I don't know. Go through the door. But that camera angle, though. Could simply just be a camera. What's up? I'm playing Resident Evil. Look, look, look. Go on there. Oh, this is the dog room. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it ain't about that life, huh? <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I don't think they bust through the first time you go through. I think the window just cracks, but then when you come back through there, they definitely bust in there. Why don't you go to the shotgun room and become a Joe sandwich? Where? This one? No. Keep going around the corner. Go around that corner over there. You can go in there. There should be some handgun ammo in there. There's a there's a pointless scene with a zombie coming out the bathtub, though. He ain't gonna attack you, I don't think. I think he dies coming out the tub. I already know. I saw the water. I just want to kill him now. So then drain the bathtub. He ain't coming back as a crimson hat, that's for sure. Jill, are you kidding me? You've seen worse. Hey. That's what you came in there for. The dagger. There's nothing else in there. Don't you dare care to see that guy's body. You'll never come in there again. That'd be a waste of kerosene. Anyway, if you keep going around the corner, the shotgun room should be over there. Here? Keep going. Yeah, that way. No, it's not that way. Did you come from that way? Yeah. Which door? What? Yeah, you didn't come from this way. Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Because I think this, I think this is the room right here. Yep, this is the room. Go on that next room. And take the shotgun off the wall if you dare. You want to become a jail sandwich. Take that dagger first, though. E. I could have had four. Just head to the wall in the back. Come on, man. Wait, do you have enough room for the shotgun? I hope you do. Okay, you do. Go ahead and go grab it. On the back wall. Yeah, it's right there. It's on the paint. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, you'll take it. Alright, champ. Now what you gonna do? That ink cartridge. You ain't taking that. There's no way for you to take that. By the way, because you don't... Well, I'll... I'll wait till you finish this segment. And I'll because say something. what? That music sounds a lot like you.
god. What did I do now? Check the walls, Steve. Wesker! Barry! Help! Then Jill! The are you in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand, Stand back! <laughs> Grab my hand! It's a good thing you check the doors. You know, most people. Most people, when they see it. Oh, man. This crappy iteration of the jail sandwich. It's not cracky. It, it, it's an updated cr version of it's it. It's crappy. He ain't even gonna say jail sandwich. Barry. Watch. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. See? Really? Thanks. But, I but Barry, you were... didn't you say you were going back to the dining oh, room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just fish. had something I you wanted to check. To anyway, we should get back to That's searching for Wesker and Chris. To you about any group. Those are gone forever. You Thanks, Barry. Back in there. Now what I, I was going to tell you is that Don't if you had it. the broken shotgun, you could have avoided that scene altogether. When you play Chris, you won't have that option. You're going to have to find the broken shotgun. Barry, too. But now you have the shotgun. Now. What you gonna do? What you gonna get? Blow people on the floor. Don't have no shotgun shells. The shotgun comes with six shells. Oh. At least this isn't like Fallout 4. Cause mm -hmm. there's something you could get in Fallout 4 that could eat other dead bodies. The Cerberus, they're cool. Uh, you were shooting at nothing, friend. But okay, he's you, dead. He's dead, Destiny. He's gone, for sure. But it would be a good idea to have some like, guards on it, though. No, 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 buddy. You ain't doing that. You need that chemical, unfortunately, so you need to go put something back. Look. You're gonna, you're gonna uh, need that chemical to kill him. Yeah, this oh, is the damn it's gonna be a fight. Yeah, okay. I accept the fate. Oh, hey, look at that. You dropped it. Here comes his friend Sylvester. Oh, you yeah. had it. Oh, you had it. You had it. He's gone. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think okay. I watched so many zombie movies that I keep double tapping. You double tapped already. You always have to hit him in the brain. You already, yeah, you hit him in the head as soon as you got him off you. He's gone, man. But when you see that explosion, that's a headshot. They're gone. You want to be really brave, Destiny? No. Go back, go back to the front. You don't need that. That's a map. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. What do you mean? I want to see how you handle something real quick. No. <laughs> on, Let man. me say. You brave, bro. Oh my god, I don't know. Oh you sure don't. Barry. Ooh. Oh, Jill. Got any good news? Oh, Other than I'm still alive really in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We better secure our really escape route first. There's got to be a back door somewhere. <laughs> All right, she then. Let's split the up again. Mm -hmm. See you later. Mm -hmm. Ciao. Ciao, you bogus. You bogus, Jill. Get that pop daddy so head. go to the front door real quick. No, I it. haven't saved. You're not. Trust me, you're not gonna leave that area. But before you go to the front door, reload your handgun. It's you just go to your inventory. <laughs> click your handgun. Combine it with the ammo. There you go. Reload it. Now go open that front door. Why? Just do it. It's gonna be saved. a fight. That's fine. I'm gonna just put it to you this way. If you die from this, you need to quit this game. Go. Go. Oh my god, why are you doing this? Because I feel like you should yes, be able to handle this. Open the freaking I'm gonna door. tell you right now, before you open this door, every single streamer I've seen except for Sinogen and Mike have died from this. Go. Come on, I believe in you. You can do it. What I are you talking about? Open the door and you'll see. I believe in you. Uh, this scene here. Look. 
unlike unlike most other people, I usually people get caught off guard by the scene. I'm letting you know something's gonna happen when you open that door. <laughs> However, how much it catches you off guard might be. Uh, we'll see, open the door. You can do it, Dad. Just do it. Bam, bruh. You handled that like a champ. You wanna know what happened to everybody else? They opened the door, dived on them, ate them, they died. That's sad. See? You handled that like a champ. Of course, if you were playing this on hard mode, that wouldn't have went so smooth. You know why? Always play Because animal. three dogs would have came in. I forgot you were playing easy mode, so I suppose it was bound. Don't double tap, he's gone. He splattered on the floor, man. He's gone. Man, yeah, I saw that real cage before. Are you kidding me? He's gone. <laughs> now I gotta walk around to the side room where my thing is. And these at. uses meat for food. Just in case you're stuck like, there overnight. Oh, I gotta save, man. I'm not just so scared, fool. You, you will need to be scared soon, though, when you find your friend Forrest. Once you find him, you need to be scared. Is he a zombie? Uh, yeah, but. There's, there's more to him than just the fact that he's a zombie. He's gonna be a zombie with grenades on him, so you ain't, you aren't able to shoot him. Is he blue one? Hmm. <laughs> well, what makes it what makes it bad is that like apparently for some reason, his mutation is different, so he runs. He doesn't walk. He runs at. But you can't shoot him because if you shoot him, you'll blow up his you'll blow up his whole his whole uh, tire he got on, and you'll kill yourself. So what am I supposed Only to do? if you could do it from a distance. And he can open doors really too. Long distance. Can you open the safe house? No. Cool, that's all I need to There's know. only been one monster in history that can break Nemesis. into a safe room, and that's Nims. Yeah. But that only even then, that only happened because of cutscene though. He was only able to break in there when you're trying to when you're racing him to save Jeff. Other than that, he normally can't break in there. Yeah. You gonna keep that knife that for the whole game? Was that transfer to zombie? You might be able to only if you're able to be a sniper. Why do you keep putting the emblem away? Look, bro. You want to know what you need to do with the emblem? Take it back to the beginning of the game. Because you have the key to open that door where the piano is at now. You know the first zombie room? You need to go back there and use that key to open that other room. Oh, I need to kill that zombie. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, cool. Not kill the burn. I don't know what you mean. Unless he's a crimson head already. Then you're gonna just fight. You know what makes crimson heads annoying? What? They walk through bullets. Well, I got a shotgun with me, so I'm okay. Mm -hmm. right. I didn't say I was perfectly fine. So just good luck trying say, to find hey, more ammo. Hey, um. Oh, never mind, keep going. What? got this champ I was gonna say you should probably refill your um, refill your kerosene but I mean, I mean you got this you good you got a game plan I can't wait to see what happens when you make it all the way to the tyrant look one step at a time you right you're right. I should be thinking about what you're gonna do when you fight Yawn first. The big snake. Oh my god. He's he's probably one of the hardest people to fight next to the giant spider because he can like poison you. This really makes me not want to I had to evil. fight four big snakes one time, but not just me evil. Oh uh, well the snake in this game is pretty rough. He poisons you when he bites you and the bad part about that is you have to run all the way to this other room to get serum. Then the zombies in the zombie in the game I'm playing throws up on you. The zombies in here throw up too. That's only when you're on the stairs. And you ain't ready for that room yet. That's where the snake is. However, if you save Richard's life, Richard will help you fight the snake. If I don't save Richard's life, I'm gonna put this screen. 
You're not gonna fight the snake by yourself? No. Yep. <sighs> Alright, fine. I'll stop being mean and tell you something. When this when you get to the room with the snake, you don't have to fight him. All you have to do is get to the back of the room, grab the item, and leave. You can fight him if you choose to, but you don't have to fight him. I would fight him. I'll feel safer. Well, he's gonna come back later regardless. Cause like if you do if you do hurt him and do enough damage to him, he gets hurt and he leaves, but then he comes back later on in the game. So it's like, you know. He's right there. <laughs> it, it didn't do any damage at all. Now go down the other side. Oh, wait, no. Follow me. Should be able to open that door now. No? Does it got the shield one? I think the armor one. Oh. Never mind. I told you, there's only one guy in this game that chases you. And that's your friend Forrest. Who gets pecked to death by crows and then comes back with grenades all over his body. And like I said, he's able to like chase you through doors and stuff. It's pretty weird. This game yeah. would be a lot easier if, you're only, if you only had to fight zombie mice. Zombie mice? They're small. You can squish them easily. But how many is too much for you to squish? Yeah, what do you do if they like sur if they crowd you and it's like a hundred of them? Hmm. I don't know. Use a bazooka. Yeah, but I mean, if you're going to fire a bazooka at a target that small, it's probably going to, the radius of the blast is probably going to hit you too. Mm. You okay with taking yourself out as long as you take them out? No. Uh gonna say cuz I don't know man I don't think that's gonna work out too well <sighs> I have other pants and dying yeah I'm gonna take a break from